Hi there, this is Pastor Kyle again with our Holy Week video guide. We're going through Holy Week together as a church family and looking at Jesus' last week before his crucifixion. And doing that by looking at what Jesus did each day of Holy Week. These videos are to help prepare your hearts and the hearts of your family for Easter. Today is day three. Sunday was Palm Sunday and we see Jesus was warmly welcomed by the people and praised as the Messiah. Yesterday we saw Jesus clearing the temple of people who were buying and selling and using the temple as a market. There were many conspiracies that trapped Jesus on Tuesday. On this day, the Pharisees were trying hard to get Jesus arrested and put him on trial. The religious leaders first cornered Jesus to challenge his deity and asked Jesus where his authority comes from to do these things like clearing out the temple. They try and trick Jesus up by asking him this and end up failing. The Pharisees had one and only one goal, getting rid of Jesus. Now they would do this by any means, even partnering with a lifelong enemy, Rome. Rome brought intrusions to the Jewish way of life, and yet the Jewish leaders joined forces with Rome. The Pharisees also partnered with another people they did not like, called the Sadducees, who were rivals and whose beliefs were much different than the Pharisees in many ways. With this, Jesus was bombarded with three different questions in order to trick him up. Jesus was asked about his loyalty to politics and spiritual matters. He was asked about marriage and what happens after death. And he was asked about the Messiah coming from the line of David. Jesus is also questioned about the greatest commandment in which Jesus summarized all the commandments into two. Love God and love others. This Tuesday must have been difficult for Jesus. Even before his crucifixion, Jesus' heart would be pierced by Israel's lack of faith. Their failure to recognize his deity left the people unprepared for what was to come. Zechariah 12 prophesied the mourning of the nation of Israel would be great. Jesus mentioned the destruction of the temple to his disciples and they asked him, when would this happen? And Jesus answered them by telling them to be faithful and to be prepared for what was to come on Friday and Sunday. Something that we need to hear as we await Jesus' second coming. I want to encourage you to draw a question mark on a piece of paper or post a note and keep it where you can see it throughout the day. The question mark will symbolize all the questions and lack of faith these people had in Jesus. If you have kids, be sure to remind them of the love Jesus has for us and everyone, even those who tried to trick Jesus on this day and even those who will nail him on the cross on Friday. Remind them of the two greatest commandments that Jesus gave us on this day. Love God and love others.